Today, I want to share with you a very powerful technique that I use with my clients in regards to energy, working with energy, because so often we hear about releasing energy, release, release, clear, let go of energy. And absolutely, there's a time and a place for this. But if you remember back in the day, we learned energy cannot be created or destroyed. So rather than having the goal or focus be to just release, clear, let go of energy, how can we shift the energy, move the energy, create a pathway and a portal for the energy to go and be directed towards something else? This is where we actually become the alchemist of our body, of our business, of our lives. So I just want you to bring up a particular situation that has been of perhaps struggle to you in your life and feel into those emotions. Is it anger, sadness, disappointment, fear, loss, um, anxiety? Whatever it is, I want you to feel into and it's like so often we don't like the feeling so we push it away. We push it away. We think that if I don't look at it, it doesn't exist. But then when people come to me for sessions, they see how powerful this energy is. So if you have a dis-ease in your body, if you have a block in your business, if you have a reoccurring situation that occurs in relationships, this is something really, really key to look at because there is an underlying energy and it is most likely quite powerful. And so what if we could take this energy and move it into an area that supports you? Move it into the opposing force because there are two sides to every coin, which I will link the video and channel message I did about that, about everything has an opposing force. So. If you have lack, you have abundance, you have fear, you have trust. If you have a, the perception of not having, you also have. Like, so if we can take this powerful, powerful energy within you, wherever it is, I'm going to, you bring to mind whatever feels right and feels like the most stress for you right now. But one of the coolest ways that I see this happen is within the body. So if someone has cancer, if someone has, um, you know, anything going on in the body in the tightness, pain, like any type of truly like this, there's an energy flowing and a current beneath every single sickness and illness. And so when we can tune into that energy and then we can redirect it, it's not just about releasing it because this came into your life for a reason. It came in, your body is your greatest ally. It is truly here to support you in every way, shape, and form. But we have to learn how to work with it. And so when we can actually take the power beneath that, whatever it is for you, in the body, in your business, in your life, in your relationships. And we can begin to shift it. Because here's the thing. So bring the <laughs> the example that I'm that I'm receiving is like think of weight loss, for example, how so many people lose the weight and then it comes back. This is a perfect example about energy is not meant to just be released. It is meant to be transformed. So how can this energy be shifted and and transformed into a way that supports you, into a more supportive energy? When we see energy in this way, it completely shifts. So when we look into the body and perhaps there is this energy of cancer, we'll say, it came in the cancer. There's nothing to fear with cancer also, my friends. Absolutely, we all have cancer cells, FYI, as well. Um, and there are so many solutions. 
Regardless of what the mainstream media says, we have many solutions, cures, and answers that are very supportive and loving to the body. And um, cancer is, it's nothing to fear. In fact, fear in and of itself is one of the greatest creators of cancer. So what I often find with things like cancer is there is an underlying root of fear that has been laying in the body for years and years and years and years. And when it's not expressed and moved through the body, disease, cancer, pain, these things begin to form. So when we access that fear, we'll say for this situation, we get it, we begin to talk to it, we begin to work with it. And if you don't see this, I often see this for, I see this for my clients. So I help you to see it, but if you don't see it, I do. And we bring it up, we lovingly look at it, we hold it, we work with it, we talk with it. This fear, this, this message, this divine message from your soul, it's from your body, but it's your soul communicating to you through your body. And when we work with this energy and lovingly hold it, lovingly support it, lovingly work with it, now it feels seen, it feels heard, it feels known. And this is when we become the alchemist. And so this is when we begin to give it a new role. And now when we give it a new role, this is when you begin to see rapid, rapid transformations in your life. Because this isn't just about goodbye, like get out of my space, get out of my body. This isn't just about killing, eradicating, letting go, releasing. This is about understanding energy, working with energy in the way that it's intended to be work with, worked with in a really empowering and supportive way. This is how our bodies are designed to work. And um, our bodies are just a reflection of our businesses, of our relationships, of our lives, okay? So when we begin to work with this energy, wherever it is, whatever you brought up and the fear, the pain, the sadness, the loss, the anxiety, whatever it is, and begin to move this energy into that which would actually support you. So for a client who did have cancer, we saw the fear, we moved it, that power beneath the fear, and moved it to support her in healing her body. And creating the life she loved and creating joy and happiness and fulfillment and supporting others and taking this pain and making it her gift and how her medicine to help her serve others. That's what we came here to do, was to take these things, our struggles, and help others so they no longer have to struggle. That's, these things can be such a gift when we see them and perceive them and work with them in this way. It's really easy to just want it gone. This is why the industry of pharmaceuticals works so well. Just take this pill and it magically goes away. But if we suppress anything in the body, the body will continue to speak louder. It'll find other avenues to speak to you. This is actually a really beautiful mechanism within the body because it's your soul communicating to you. It's God, source, divine communicating to you through your body, through energy. Everything is just a manifestation of energy. So work with the energy. Don't try and just release it. So again, there are times and a place for just releasing, of course, but... If you have anything in your life that you have been working through and working through and it's not shifting and changing, this could be it. So work with the energy. See how you can shift it and move it out. And if you need support in this, this is where working one-on-one -on -one is really supportive and really helpful. So just reach out to me and we can do a session because this is one of the most profound ways in which we can work with energy and really support ourselves, our business, our body, our relationships, and our lives. And so with that, I'm just sending you all infinite love and light.